plan for today is I'm going to try and make a Meek Mill Drake type beat in the style of their track called Going Bad, which was released. Oh man, I think it's been released like five years now, like 2018, bro. Oh my bro, I'm getting old, you know. So in order to make this beat, I'm probably going to need aged pianos. So either like a newer, more modern grand piano with a bunch of effects thrown on it, or just a really cursed, evil, disgusting sounding piano, probably with some brass or some strings in the background. And if I had to guess, really simple drum pattern because it really doesn't take that much but i haven't made one of these beats in a while since it involves a lot of like sample chopping and slicing um so we'll see how it goes i don't know let's just make a start i haven't made one of these for a while but i remember i used to use either omnisphere or mellotron 5 for the piano so i'm probably just gonna use mellotron 5 i like never use this plugin though so i'm not actually sure what sounds are good now let's just look for a piano sound well that one sounds pretty cool but it's just not what i'm looking for hmm maybe this one That sounds disgusting. Okay, I like that. Now we need to increase the BPM to around about 170 and we need to build a chord progression. I like how old it sounds, bro. This plugin is just underrated. I haven't used it in so long and I don't know why. All right, let's clone this sound and we're going to add a top line melody just to complement it a bit so we have something to chop. If you're just throwing chords into Fruity Slicer, there's not going to be much content actually to chop. You won't be able to make interesting melodies out of it, so... Right, that sounds disgusting like the melody just sounds disjointed it doesn't really have to make sense for now we just need content to chop later on basically we need something in the, to keep it going in the background maybe like strings or something so we're going to clone this again but use a different preset hmm. what about this one it's very metro but it's not really what i'm looking for i'm looking for something that sounds cursed and evil and bad age strings. I mean, this one sounds the most diseased, so we'll go with this one. That sounds hard. Okay, wait. Hey, dude, wait, hold up. And this one sounds really robotic, so we're just gonna randomize that a lot. There we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. Now we're gonna need to bounce it out, chop it up using like a slice axe or something. Let's grab Fruity Slicer. We're gonna throw it into Fruity Slicer. So at first we're gonna just do beat, make sure that everything's on time. I'm also going to now decrease the pitch by like three semitones, I think. That sounds crazy. Okay, we need to chop it up now. What I used to do is I just messed around in here and just made a bunch of different patterns for the hook and verses and stuff. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, wait, okay, we need to lower the velocities on some of them because they're just too loud. Wow. 
why don't I make these beats all the time? That's, it's like so simple and so easy. We're gonna clone this one so we can just make different chops for the verses and hooks and stuff. Rawr. Alright, okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Alright, this needs some effects, this needs effects. I already have a preset for this, because I used to make these beats all the time. Alright, I should probably just go over what I've added. So, I added an EQ just to filter out some of the muddiness in the low end. I added Soothe Through to get rid of some of the resonances, because there was a lot of resonating frequencies that were annoying me. A little bit of crystal cut, not much, like 7%, not that much at all. I added some kickstart as well, so I can get the clicking out, because sometimes Fruity Slicer doesn't do it all the way. I added some filter freak, so I could do the stepped up sweep thing that's in that one Lil Sky song from like 2016 that I don't remember. Added some lo-fi for the vinyl crackle. Camel Crusher because once again I'm in 2018 and this is how I used to do my 808. Obviously some reverb so it doesn't sound you know too monotone. So let's just listen to what it sounds like now. I need to make these more often. I don't know why I stopped because I used to make so much, so many trap beats and I feel like I just got tired of it. But I guess if you just take a break from it every once in a while, it's not so bad. Okay. I think we go for like a really basic clap. an open hat I think so oh. Alright, we're gonna do something like stupid with the 808. I want it to I want it to jump around a little bit. No, actually I'll do snares first. I'll do snares first. a percussion sound so I'm gonna use this rim shot I'm gonna want like a really diseased 808 as well to go with this to lower the volume of the melody a little bit though. All right, we need to mix and master the drums now. So I think it's time to arrange the beat. So what I'm going to do is have the original melody for the intro and probably just half time it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds messed up. We're gonna add some effect tricks as well. Throw a chaos preset on there. That is crazy. Okay, just automate it a bit. So sometimes it has it and sometimes it doesn't. Reverb as well. crazy i like that yeah beats basically done overall i think what i'll probably do before putting it out to these is i'll change the the melody a little bit on the verses and hooks to add a bit more variety but the beats basically done like i'm gonna use mellotron way more often i kind of forgot how good a plug in it is but yeah like really simple beat didn't take too long to make let me know what you think i should make next i'm i'm running out of ideas let's just listen to the beat and then see what i can do better next time <laughs> 